I'm excited for another episode of Simple Science. And no, Grace, I'm not going to be telling you that you're gonna die or anything crazy like that. But I will be talking about the science behind how stars are made and if there is any science backing to horoscopes and astrological signs and stuff like that. Um, so I don't know about you guys, but I'm obsessed with space. I mainly because there's like- oh, not space, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> 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 oh my god. I was gonna say horoscopes, like yeah. Oh I my god, no, I, I mean <laughs> yeah, horoscopes. horoscopes are fun. But yeah, there's just so much that we don't know about space, so it's so interesting to sort of dive into the literal black hole of trying to find um, you know, all this stuff about space. So um, first, I'm gonna be telling you guys about how stars are made. Um, so essentially stars are big, huge balls of exploding gas. Nice. Um, mostly made of hydrogen and helium. Um, and so how they're formed is basically when really cold clouds of dust, essentially, um, gas clouds up, up in the atmosphere, or sorry, up, up in the universe are floating around. When they're up there and they have a mass, they tend to want to be closer to the middle. Why? Close to their middle, just because that's how gravity works. Because they're lonely and they don't want yes, to be yes, spread out. Yes, 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 they don't want to be spread out. And the best way to explain that is if you oh, think dear. of like, if you think of like an orange and, and, and you're grabbing an orange and you squeeze it, that's a little bit of gravity. But the more you squeeze it and the more you squeeze it, the more that it all wants to be condensed into the middle of it. An orange? Yes. What kind of oranges do you, an, no, it'll just Have explode. You never, eventually it will, right. eventually it will. She's getting there. Okay. Right, so don't, yes, yeah, so you can't squeeze it full force at first, if right? If you're putting equal force all around it though, it's gonna go into the yeah, middle. Yeah, exactly. The reason why it explodes is because you're putting more force from one side to the other so that the force gets yeah. pushed out. I wish we'd brought an orange for this. This doesn't make sense to me, go Oh my on. gosh, anyways, so, um, yeah, so eventually, once the um, hydrogen is condensed so much in the middle, it becomes super, super heated. Um, and usually, um, it has to get to at least 4 million degrees Celsius, which is about uh, 7.2 million degrees Fahrenheit. And when it reaches that heat, it actually uh, starts fusion of hydrogen to helium. And basically, basically what that is, is two hydrogen molecules are going to come together, and each one of them has one proton. Grace, you look confused. No, got did you it. Take any, did you take any chemistry I ever? Love this. I did, but I cheated. Okay, Go well, on. well, this is a little cheat too. Um, yeah, so two hydrogen molecules come together. Each one has one proton, and when they come together and smash together, now it has two protons, and that actually changes which element it is. So it turns from hydrogen to helium, and so every, the stars have a high voice. Um, yeah, yes, they all like, both suck you know balloons. When you yes, like, no, I'm sorry. Please again, go on. <laughs> so when it changes from hydrogen to helium, this this change from a one proton to a two proton element actually releases energy, and and this this energy is photons, and that's how you can actually see the stars because oh, it releases photons I of light. That's how you can just see in general. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's how you stars, measure. You like so light. then, how do these anything. stars relate to our star signs? Um, so that's actually the interesting part is that I'm sorry, there is actual, there's literally no real science behind how our star signs affect our lives. Sorry, Jason. Um, I hate to break it to you, but um, it's, actually, it. it's, Fake actually, news. it's actually pretty interesting because um, people actually used to use star signs as a way to kind of explain how things are going on, which makes sense because humans are really curious. And you know, before we had psychology and sociology and we learned about you know, human interactions, this was a way to basically understand why we act uh, the way that we do. Um, so let's see, there are 12 constellations that correspond to certain months, and I have a picture of this. Um, and it's calculated by the Earth's rotation against um, the Earth. Sun. Yeah, yes, the Earth's rotation around the sun and the relative sun position in the sky. Um, so like I said, there's unfortunately no science backing this, but I'm a big advocate for, even if there's no science backing it, if it makes you happy and it makes you a productive yeah. member of, of society, why not? And yeah. that's why I'm a creationist. Here's, <laughs> here's my pseudoscientific explanation. Yeah. We are affected by gravity, everything, yeah. every placement of every celestial body in the universe, yeah. I think has some kind of minuscule effect on our atoms in our body. So if these sense. stars are in a certain position, like that is, it's pressing down like many different forces throughout the universe until it comes down to like an individual level. I no? could get on board no? with that, I could get on board with that. Maybe I, I'm, not, I'm not doing a good job explaining it. That but makes like, sense, yeah. I, I agree. I, I I fully believe that sun science and astrology is real. Yeah. I Sil Sylvia like, Brown. The moon affects animals and like even and the people ocean. Yeah. Because right. of like the yeah. gravitational tidal right. waves that it has on us. Agreed. Yeah. All right. So, so just so, yeah. just real quick, I'm gonna read your guys' horoscopes. So this is a weekly horoscope from AstroStyle.com. Can't trust it. Um, 
Jason, you're a Libra and this is your weekly horoscope. Are your aspirations causing perspiration, Libra? Power lunches, pitch meetings, network events, strategic socializing has been the name of the game since May 19th. <laughs> and that's true. <laughs> Before you break another sweat and totally throw off that delicate work-life balance, hit pause and regain equilibrium. Maybe you've been so busy with your hustle that your inner circle has wound up short change. Boom. Planetary oppositions can shake things up and force you to recalibrate. Take time to realign your priorities. However, you define that's them. So that's so me at so the moment, true. I'm so busy. I was last night, I was watching pose, I thought, where am I? All right, what's Amir? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so Amir, he's an Aquarius, and this is his for the week. So many details, so little time. Your eyes pick up every little flourish and flaw, but that doesn't mean you should stop to fluff them or attempt to curate to perfection. Choose your battles. Better you should take your time and have fun every step of the way than create a picture perfect life that makes you want to bolt out of the frame. Has someone in your life been holding you to impossibly high standards? <laughs> or maybe they keep tapping you for bottomless She's sitting in the control of support right without giving the same return? It's boundary time, Aquarius. Demand the respect you deserve, and if you can't get it, ghost. Go, go, go. Okay, what's, okay, okay so what's Grace? Is, what's is big. Grace is a Scorpio, and hers says, silencing your suspicious mind, a minor issue could balloon into a ginormous debate. You might get that last word in, but at what cost? Even spilling tea to a neutral third party could be the final straw in an important relationship if words get if word gets back, you're gossiping. Your best line, in fact, may be the one you scribble in your journal, but never ever say aloud. The goal should be finding win-wins and seeking to understand. If necessary, take a time out so you can reflect on this conflict from a philosophical perspective. Why is the situation popping up in your life at this moment in time? What is the greater message it's revealing? It's time to let go of fixing this situation and give yourself the freedom to explore a wider range of options. Oh God, that's Relatable, so Relatable, right? That's so, right. what's going on right now?